There were a number of people that testified about their experience of scouting. There are certainly a number of gay people who went through the Boy Scouts who never thought that the Boy Scouts, in fact, had the mission that they eventually articulated, and they felt quite betrayed by the Boy Scouts' articulation of that mission. There were um, parents who were really concerned about the fact that they wanted their children to have that experience of scouting, but they didn't want them to be part of an anti-gay organization. There were employees of the state of Connecticut who were really deeply offended that they were being given promotional materials by an organization that they knew had staked out a publicly anti-gay position. And so people had really um, um, strong feelings on sort of all sides of the issue. I think there were, there were um, members of the community that, you know, who had gone through the scouting experience and felt like they, shouldn't, they should get to be part of the charitable campaign, that it was, you know, central to American core values, that it was like mom and apple pie. And so people had really strong feelings on both of the issues, much of which had very little to do with the law or the legal landscape, but it really, I think, reflected a cultural sense of what was important. And in many ways, I think, it unfortunately, it pitted um, the uh, values of non-discrimination against the values of the Boy Scouts. Um, parents in the community prior to that time didn't realize that the Scouts were an anti-gay organization and people had to question whether or not they were going to allow their children to continue participating in an organization that didn't espouse their core values. Um, there were alternatives that were created not just in Connecticut but around the country to the Boy Scouts that would give um, young boys an opportunity to go outdoors and learn team skills and uh, learn, you know, camping um, skills and, and sort of do all the things that scouts do but not associate with an organization that was anti-gay. So I think that it was, a, it had a really important educational function because it, it made it clear that an organization that people really thought was a good and important and strong organization wasn't quite what they thought it was.